someone passed me the microphone because we most definitely have to talk about how badly Scourge was doing the Autobots at the museum in the Rise of the Beast. I'm talking about this man was straight cooking Optimus and Bumblebee like it was his dinner. But before we jump into this video, if you guys can do me a small little favor and smash that subscribe button if you want more Transformer videos like this. I mean, just press the button, it's free and it costs no money. So why not help me out? So the scene kicks off with Optimus looking at the sky and seeing a huge yellow beacon. And this is where he realizes that it's finally his ticket to go home. My boy has been stuck on earth for decades. I lowkey feel bad for bro. I know he's sick and tired of constantly trying to save the city like he's Batman or something. Optimus Prime immediately calls all of the Autobots to form together and build an Avenger super team so that they can get their hands on the transwarp key as soon as possible. And we see Bumblebee make his appearance alongside Arky. And bro, I'm just thinking to myself, where are Skips and Mudflap? Like they have to be the most useless Autobots of all time. I don't even know how they snuck their way into the team. Like you know you're trash when the vehicle you transform into is literally an ice cream truck. My boy Optimus was on the verge of tears. He couldn't believe he was actually about to return to his home planet Cybertron and to be reunited with his people. He was just standing there hitting the... Alright, so the cameraman switches locations like it's GTA, and we see my boy Noah Diaz trying to hijack a car. And you could tell bro was not about that life, because wasn't he just at a job interview like 10 minutes ago? Like he was out here sweating and on the verge of hyperventilating. My guy has never stolen a car a day in his life. His homie is on the phone convincing him that it's too late to back out now, and he's talking about giving him some Twizzlers for all of this? Like bro, what kind of setup is this? My dog Noah Diaz could find a better deal with a crack attic off of the street. I know my boy Noah was tight when he heard he was getting some candy for committing a federal crime. So all of a sudden we hear Optimus Prime speaking through the car and turns out that the car that Noah was sitting inside of was Mirage the entire time. And this is where I knew that things were about to take a huge turn like Little Baby's entire music career. And Noah and his friend were hella confused as to who was talking to them through the speaker. They were just sitting there like this. My boy Noah does the only logical thing in this situation, which is obviously to get his a out of there. But when Noah tries opening the door, turns out he's locked inside of the car with no escape. My boy is literally getting trolled by Mirage because he's not letting him out for some reason. There's no way out of this one. You're done. Noah makes that face after you realize you're cooked, and at this moment, I know that McDonald's application that he was about to fill out right before this was probably the best idea. Like you could tell by his facial expressions that he just made the worst mistake in his entire life. And this part actually had me on the floor dying, cause tell me why Noah tried hiding as if the security guard didn't just see you inside of the car. Like bro, who are you trying to hide from? I'm pretty sure even Toph could see you and she's blind. Like bro really thinks we can't see him right now. My boy Noah is tweaking out, cause he's like, how am I supposed to get out of the car when it started by itself? But then this is where Mirage takes full control and makes his way out of the parking garage. And Noah's homeboy is hyped up right now, cause he sees the car that he just stole make his way out of there. But this man is stupid. Like why are you celebrating talking about- Hey! Now let's talk to your manifestation! Like your friend is literally getting kidnapped by a transformer and getting chased by the cops and you're just gonna sit there and watch? Like you cannot convince me that this is not an L man's. He wanted Noah to get arrested and get sent to jail. There's no other explanation to this bro. Hey bro best believe when I get out of here I'm finna spank your wah no diddy. What did you just say? So after like 3 long minutes of being chased by the police, Noah finally makes his way into the warehouse where he gets shoved straight to the ground. Then Noah looks right in front of him and he was just sitting there flabbergasted. Like bro, what did I just get myself into? And A, he's better than me because if I saw a 7 foot robot talking to me, I would have been screaming my lungs out. So long story short, the Autobots come together as a team and their plan is to get Noah to go inside of the museum and obtain the transwarp key for them. And my boy Noah had no choice but to accept this mission because if he didn't, his family would have never heard a word from him ever again. Like my boy Optimus is out here recruiting people like he's Nick Fury. He doesn't care if it's someone trust like Hawkeye. He just needs someone with two working hands and feet to get the job done for him and turns out Noah Diaz was the perfect option. 
So fast forward and we're at the museum till where we see Scourge blasting at Noah and Elena and they didn't get to wasting any time. They were out of there before they got turned into Tom Holland, straight dust particles. Then we see the Autobots make their arrival to try and defend the transwarp key from Scourge and his goons. And it was on sight because they got right to the action, no talking at all. It was game time, everyone was locked in. So this Terracon grabs onto a pillar and chucks it at Optimus Prime. And yo, we're not serious right now, cause what kind of attack is this? Did bro really think that throwing a pillar would do something? Like does he not realize that even if he hits him with that, it's gonna do nothing? Because Optimus is made out of titanium. Like I'm actually losing brain cells watching these Terracons fight because they're straight garbage. So Optimus breaks the pillar in half and then he comes face to face with Scourge and this is where the real fight actually begins. We've all been waiting for this. Optimus swings at Scourge but he says weave and then weave again. Like dog, peep how effortlessly Scourge just dodged his attacks. This man literally saw what Prime was about to do and was prepared way before Prime even swung his sword. Like tell me Scourge is not cold bro. So Optimus tries swinging but Scourge lands a clean right jab and then we see Bumblebee in the very back blasting away at this Terracon and look at how clean the sequence was. He hit that jump like he was LeBron James with a 40 inch vertical. They even played it in slow motion even I was like Damn! Meanwhile, Mirage is out here looking like that one friend missing every shot that he takes, out here putting up Tony Snell numbers. Like I wouldn't even call this man an Autobot, he's not helping anyone with that whack aim of his. And you already know Mirage was trying his hardest to extend that 10 day contract that Optimus Prime gave him. And it's not looking too good for him, I'm not gonna lie. And then the cameraman switches angles and we see Optimus do a whole 360 while pulling out his blade trying to catch Scourge off guard. But this man is not phased at all because bro literally grabs his arm with no effort required. He had my boy Optimus kneeling on the ground like HELP ME! HELP ME! Like Scourge is actually one of the greatest villains of all time because bro was even rubbing it in Optimus Prime's face asserting his dominance. Just straight up trash talking this man talking about. When an inferior being meets a higher power. My guy Scourge was making Optimus Prime look like an average Autobot because he literally kicks Prime to the ground like it's nothing and then poses for the hardest IG flick I've then ever seen. They call me Scourge for a reason because I'm the only one they see as unbeaten. Oh brother, this guy stinks! Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that caption needs a little bit of work because that was definitely not it. Meanwhile, we see Noah and Elena skedaddle their way out of the museum and Noah actually comes in clutch cause he shuts the door right in time before they get turned into mince meat. Like dog, I really thought I was watching Call of Duty zombies by the way they were being attacked. And Noah actually pisses me off so much because bro decides that the best option is to run right into the fight with a trans warp key right in his hands. Like at this point, I don't know whose side he's on because he's acting like he's invincible and the Terracons can't see him right in front of them. Like I'm just gonna put this out there, if that was Sam Witwicky with the transwarp key in his hands, he would have already dipped the scene by now. I mean y'all do remember how fast he was running with that cube in his hands in the original Transformers. That man is a certified track star like Usain Bolt. So Mirage gets grabbed up and gets taken right into the sky, just to get hit with that nastiest RKO straight into the ground. Like tell me one achievement Mirage has actually obtained, because this man is always getting cooked every time he appears on my screen. So right as Noah and Elena are about to escape with a transwarp key right in their hands, the Terracons really said no, nope, because one of them throws a grenade and blasts them away. And I'm not gonna lie, the Terracons versus the Autobots was a pure mismatch. It's like they stood no chance against Scourge no matter what they tried. So Arki sees that the transwarp key was on the ground and tries going for it only for her to get body slammed by a car and get sent out of the entire frame. Like she was actually nowhere to be seen. I don't know how she didn't see that one coming, but I guess it's up to Optimus and Bumblebee since two of the Autobots are already down. Scourge takes down Optimus with a random object and I don't know what was going on with Optimus because how did he just get taken down that easily? 
So now Optimus and Bumblebee get to jumping Scourge because they realize it's the only way they have a chance against Scourge because I guess he's just too strong for them. I don't know what else to say. Bumblebee comes in and throws a wooden plank only for it to get blasted. But then Optimus tries sneaking in from behind just to get headbutted and then smacks Bumblebee into the building. Like bro, this is a complete violation. He's literally taking down two of the strongest Autobots by himself. Optimus tries striking at Scourge only to get his blade swung away. And yeah, this is where I knew it was wraps because we all know when Optimus has no weapons, his attributes points go down by 50 because he cannot do anything without them. So then Scourge grabs onto Optimus Prime's hand and then just completely cooks him because he kicks him against the wall and gives him brain damage with a punch straight to the cranium. And I already know Optimus Prime's brain was doing straight jumping jacks because to end this man off, he slams a pillar against his head and this is where I knew it was officially good game for the Autobots. So Bumblebee thinks he's the main character and tries coming in from behind as a desperate attempt to save Optimus, but bro just gets stabbed right through the chest and it was really over for them because he said he's tired of little things getting in his way because he electrocutes the crap out of Bumblebee. Then Scourge proceeds to take off Bumblebee's 4PF chain and then tosses into the ground like a pile of trash. Like bro, Scourge is actually the definition of him. He straight up sunned Optimus and B in the same day, but I guess you could say Scourge is just like that. And before the video ends, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I'm out.